Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. National development, looking for the positives. This week, I focus on inspiring developments by three personalities across the nation. I'm hailing the monarch of the ancient town of Oyo, Obalamidi Olaiwola Adeyemi III, the House of Rep member Shino Pella, and the executive governor of Ebonyi State through his Ministry of Education. Now, these three personalities, one a respected monarch and first-class king, the other a young legislator in his 40s, and the last a governor, to me, demonstrates the future that I desire for this country. First, the Allah Fion Foyo, Obalamidi Olaiwola Adeyemi III, Kabiesio. In commemoration of his 50th coronation anniversary, disbursed 5.5 million naira to 550 petty traders in Oyo town. And each of them selected from the four local government areas of Oyo got 10,000 naira each. Now, what excites me most is the provision and commissioning of three solar boreholes at three locations, including a school, Baptist Secondary School, Oke Somi Ilora. Now, while the project was, of course, partly facilitated by one of his sons, Akim Adeyemi, representing or your federal constituency in the House of Representatives in commemoration again of the 50th coronation anniversary. The king, the monarch, could have declined and requested the money to be put to personal use, but he didn't. He said, and quite succinctly too, that apart from the advisory role given to the traditional institutions in the current democratic dispensation, Obas should be seen as a coordinator of general community development as it has the natural capability to successfully act as adjudicator, mediator, intercessor, and facilitator of community projects and programs. The first class monarch underscores the role of the traditional institution and their continued relevance at the grassroots level, which can then truly elevate local government administration in this country. I'm excited again that a member of the House of Representatives, Honobu Shino Pella, Pella, presented electronic knapsack sprayers, motorized seed planters, motorized fertilizer applicators, harvesting machines, farm grass cutters and weeding machines. To wait for it, about 1,500 rural farmers in Oyo North and is worth several millions of naira. These mechanized farming equipments were handed over to the farmers after a brief demonstration on how to use them on their farmlands. The truth is, I couldn't have been prouder of that moment, the thinking behind that sort of empowerment and the immense impact it will have on those farmers. I'd wondered for years when Nigerian farmers would scale up their modus operandi to that level where they don't have to, to do back-breaking work to have bountiful harvest. What a new day. Thank you, Shinopela. And as students and pupils resume in schools amid COVID's care, a Bonyu state government outdid other states with its policy to post two nurses to public schools. I commend the state government for providing protective facilities for primary and secondary schools in the 13 local government areas of a Bonyu state ahead of resumption on January 18th. And also importantly, deploying two nurses to each public schools ahead of that resumption to assist teachers who were trained on preventive measures against the coronavirus 
disease and to identify any student with the symptoms. How heartwarming to read of these developments from leaders across communities, the legislature, and the executive. I want to say bravo to the three uh, personalities today. This is responsive and responsible leadership. We want more. Um, yeah, uh, well, I appreciate the fact that, um, you know, you try to, you know, encourage these people. Um, O'Neilly, for me, is their responsibility. For We're talking about sharing 10,000 uh, just before this year advocacy. And so, for a House of Rep member, who through his father is sharing 10,000 hours, for me, it is not something I would want to celebrate. Uh, that's me. But for Shino Pella, that young man has consistently distinguished himself, just like the governor also in some areas. And um, I always talk about farming without uh, value added, without uh, mechanized processes, poverty. And this is what I expect every government at the local level to do find a way to improve farming for your people so that the harvest can you know be plentiful and not preach farming with one mouth and then there's nothing you know no value added and then someday you say you share seedling yam seedling and rice seedling and you know to what extent has does that you know so this is the modern world and with such um, um, motorized uh, equipment you know, what ordinarily 10 people would have done, one person can do it. So sure. for that, that's the only person I will single out in all of this <laughs> to praise for a boy. Um, until, uh, I'm not a doubting Thomas, though, but uh, knowing what I know with these governors, uh, you just hear policies like this, and when you get there, you find out that really was on ground. It's far different from... Uh, uh, but, but, but he has tried. He <laughs> You're has tried. smiling. Our, our, our royal father, as a matter of fact, could... Um, actually be game changers, especially right. at the grassroots level, if they are that much committed to do that. And I think uh, uh, the Oba has only just demonstrated that, you know, uh, to us. He's done uh, that before. He did that in 2014 as well. Yeah. Oh, you see? Uh, well, so well, it, it's already part of him. It's, it's part you of know. him. I, so I we, we should commend that. Just a minute, please. So we should commend that. As for the politicians, especially the <laughs> governor, I'm not one of those who... Praise governors for <laughs> building roads, <laughs> constructing yeah. roads for us, nurses, opening so. roads. I keep our asking, our was it from his yeah. building secretariat? <laughs> we elected him to do that. If he cannot do it, then let him get out. I will bring somebody else to do it. We elected him and we provided the fund through budgeting. So what are we thanking him for? Yeah. He should be thanking us for giving him the privilege yeah. to, yes. do to, to do that. Able to do okay, it. let's I think, let's think, think well, I, 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 I like the, the, the Allah things part. And, and that is because, you see, when these roles are performed sometimes by politicians, they are also skewed politically. So when they want to do it, you see APC mm -hmm. trying to do things for APC. Mm -hmm. But the kings are supposed to be father to everybody. Yes. So in reaching out, you could see all the four local government. And I can assure you, because the others are not meant to be partisan, yes. he's not looking for party members no. to hand over things to. He's a father and, of and all. We should engage them the more because if they can bring says, more value. If you I, say I so. I'm particularly... Aisha... Yeah. I, I, Aisha. Aisha. For me, we've been reduced to a nation of Bambiala mentality. <laughs> so empowerment. <laughs> what do you do? One of the things I always say is that I don't want to help anybody. I want people not to need my help. 10,000 10, naira for 550, 5.5 million. It's, that's, that's money you use on holiday. You can easily share it and feel good that you've done so much. But when that person is being kidnapped, the kidnappers will not ask for 10,000 naira. They will ask for millions. Yeah. For those people that have been given with mechanized uh, machine, uh, 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 they'll be given machines for mechanized farming. Right. The, 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 the henchmen are going to go there and eat up their crops. Some of, in, in some parts of Nigeria, we already have a situation whereby farmers have to pay bandits before they are able to harvest. True. If you look at, for example, schools, government schools, is it that they don't have nurses before? Are they not supposed to have nurses? I remember when my kids were in secondary school, their schools had nurses. So why is it that in government school is different? But in private schools, where we have our children, where these governors have their children, all of these things are already there. The thing, we need to know what governance is. It's not an empowerment scheme. They should be Lawmakers should be making laws that we ensure that we are protected. They want to be able to create the wealth 
that need yeah. and they've not just given a us quick good word advice. just a yeah. quick word in here i know that we're always criticizing mm. so once in a while when you find that they've done something yes uh, also we you know, you're, you're appreciate them. So yeah, yeah. I really wanted to appreciate those people. No, no, I, well. yeah. and, I, and I agree with uh, Aisha that when we were growing up, we used to have nurses in, in school. In school, yes. exactly, yeah. Okay, so it's no longer the norm, but you find somebody who Doing remembers it, and yeah. does that, you yeah. appreciate the person. I, I, I agree with you. And um, that's why for me, you see, it's only criticism we do here because we know we can't Because that's our business yeah. <laughs> oh, I so, so um, I, I agree um, because for me you see like I say it's not only criticism we do here because we know we can't build a strong and very nation if we just criticize without giving yeah. kudos mm -hmm. so kudos once again to Alafia for your Shinopela and the Governor Mahi after the break I want to do DNA to check if that good thing are my father who is my father <laughs>